Welcome to the SolidCam University channel. This video's topic is engraving in InventorCam. So uh, InventorCam is embedded in Inventor, and Inventor being a CAD software has certain abilities to create things like text and, and, and script and that sort of thing. Uh, unfortunately, InventorCam doesn't read those. So to do engraving in InventorCam, what you'll need to do is use the text option inside of the engraving or the profile toolpath. So this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that and how you can use those different functions to get the type of engraving you're looking for. So let's start with the just the simple 2D engraving that I've done here. If we take a look at the toolpath, you can see that I have literally the word engraved text going across there. And the engraving toolpath is essentially just like we've seen in previous videos, that sort of thing there. Now, if we take a look at the actual geometry, it is similar to what we've seen in previous videos for things like solid cam. In inventor cam, we don't really have the ability to grab the text from an inventor file. So what this text all came from is down here, the text option. So if I recreate what I've done here, I can go and let's just delete all this and we'll just recreate this. Let's go add. And what you're doing here is you're just aligning the text. So it's very similar to what you would do probably inside of Inventor where you choose your reference point. So I'm just gonna click point. You can freehand the point or you can just use a sketch point. That's what I've done there. So I'm just gonna grab that sketch point. So now that is the bottom corner of my, my text. You can see, see that the wireframe of the toolpath is still there. So that's indicating exactly where that started. So that's where my text is going to start. If I go to edit, what that actually does is it opens up this little text window. This is very similar to what you would see if you opened up Notepad. This is not Notepad, but it's very similar to it. Um, I'm gonna grab this text box, I just make a simple text box, and I'm going to put my caps lock on and then just type in engraved text. I have the same ability as you see in other text uh, editors sort of softwares where I can choose my fonts. In this case, DPS Shrift is the one we recommend whenever you're doing engraving because it generates a single line letter. I've got all my weights and stretches and such, and then my size of text. I'm gonna say, okay. Once I've gotten what I like here, my left justified, I've got all this stuff here, I can click the green check mark to accept that. And we still don't see it on screen. You can just click preview and you can see it on screen. So that is actually a preview of what I'm about to create here. That simple text definition located off that reference point. If I just click the green check mark, that becomes my geometry. So it'll generate geometry off of the text lettering. It's just the text in this case came from Inventor Cam. I'll just click the green check mark. And basically you do the same thing you would do with, um, with every other type of toolpath inside SolidCam. As soon as you have some new geometry, just double check your levels. I'll do a save and calculate. And then that basically gives us the same wireframe. So that is a very simple way of engraving the text. Now. What we like to do sometimes with text though is to orient the text a certain way. That is what this second one is gonna be showing us. So I have a reference point of this sketch point down here. And in that same window where we define the text, if I go back into here and let's just take a look at that text. What I've actually done is again in the text section, I'll just click add so we can get into it. I'm not gonna modify what I've done here though, is you choose your pick point reference point, but also you can give it an angle off of the x-axis. So in this option, we still have the ability to do text at a different angle. We just have to tell it an angle off of the x-axis. Or you choose a point to give it that angle. But it, in this case, it's still very simple. It's just the angle to the text. So if you were looking for curve text, it's not possible with that function. Now, lastly, there are times where we're probably gonna to wanna to have to do some sort of mirrored text. And uh, again, this is a very basic text generation option inside the toolpath. So if we try to do mirrored text, well, you can see there's my attempt there, mirrored text, it's still in the right direction. So what we have to do here is use the mirroring function from InventorCam. So you're actually gonna just generate this mirrored text uh, in, in a regular engraving toolpath, and then use the mirror function, just right click on it, mirror, you can see that I have a plane that represents my mirroring plane right there. So what I've done is I made a mirror of that toolpath and now I have my mirrored text as a separate toolpath. So it's a very basic text generation option for the engraving toolpath. 
But you can see here with some of these additional functionalities, you can get sort of the things you're looking for. You can get a text at a different angle, and you can get some mirroring text here. Any questions on this or anything else from SolidCam, just give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at solidcamsupport.com. And stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.